Hi guys, my name is Anne and I'm going to talk about how to make a propeller car. So here are the supplies we're going to need. So we got some popsicle sticks, a little motor, batteries, wheels, the fan, some tape, scissors, a skewer, and a straw. All right. Our first step is we're going to make the body of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other supplies to the side. So for the body of the car, you can really make it out of anything, but today we're going to use four popsicle sticks and some tape. So we have the body of our car. Now what we want to do is we want to attach the wheels. In order to do that, we have a skewer, and we have to cut that up. So you're just going to cut the skewer. It's going to be kind of difficult to do, so you might want your parents to help you. Now you need your skewer to be wide enough so it can pass the body of your car. So it needs to be wider than the body of your car. So you just need to cut them into two parts. Alright, so we have two skewers, and we're going to attach the wheels onto the skewers. So it should fit into the hole, it might be kind of hard, and you might have to wiggle it a bit. Alright, so we have two of the wheels attached. We're going to want to attach this to the other side, but before we do that, we want to think about how we're going to attach it to the car. If we attach just the pop, the skewer right to the body, it won't let the wheels move. So in order to combat this, we're going to add a straw. So we're going to cut up our straw into two smaller parts. The straw will let the wheels move. So if we put slide this through, it's going to let the wheels move. So we're going to tape the straws to the car. All right, so we have both the straws attached. Now we're going to slide the skewer through and attach the other wheel. So now we have it all attached, and we just need to make sure that it can roll pretty nicely. So that's good. So we have the body of the car done. Now we need to think about adding the motor. So what we're given is one with a little thing attached. We want to go ahead and cut this off. Now we're going to need to strip the wires. We can use regular scissors to do this, but it's kind of hard. You want to cut it just a little bit, not fully through, and try and pull it up. You might want your parents, an adult should probably do this. And you need enough for the wire to actually show. So now we can see the little wires. I'm going to attach them to the battery. So we're going to go ahead and put the fan onto this. So there's a little hole, and you're just going to stick that right onto the motor. And now we have to test which side works. So for both sides, the fan will move, but one, that one seems to give off pretty good air. So we have to figure out which side gives off more air. We're just going to hold the end to each side of the battery. This one doesn't even seem to work. Oh, there we go. So I think 
I think it gives off more air when the positive side of the battery is attached to the black side and the negative side is attached to the red side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tape it on to make it stay. Before we do that, let's check how the fan fits on the car. So if we just attach it like this, as you can probably see, the fan hits the ground and it won't be able to turn. So we need to build something up so that the fan can easily turn. So let's see, I have some extra popsicle sticks that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and just cut these up and then use the tape and tape them together. All right, so I have this little square that I made out of two popsicle sticks and some tape. So we're going to see how that works when I try and fit the motor on. Let's see. So that seems to be able to turn pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down onto the car. So it is taped down, and now I'm going to tape the fan to the battery. So. Another option if you don't want to tape it down is you can use rubber bands. All right, so we have a working fan. Now we're going to have to tape that down on it there. Now try not to touch the fan because it won't feel great. Now, if you have a hot glue gun at home, it might be easier to glue these things down. Alright, so that's taped down. I'm going to tape the battery down. And we'll see if it works. So as you can see, it moves forward. And there you go. You guys have a basic propeller car. So now what I think you guys should do, if you want to, is try and improve the car. See what you can do to make it go faster or make it look cooler. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.